Hi, my name is Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to tell you how computers store data. Let's go to our desktop and I'm going to show you a couple of pictures here. Uh, there's two basic ways that a computer will store data and the, the first one of those is uh, temporary data and that gets stored in what's called random access memory or RAM. I'll click here. This is a picture of a chip of RAM. Uh, basically this is internal in your computer and it's, it's popped into the motherboard and this, uh, these little chips of RAM allow the computer to store data that it's currently working on. They don't allow the permanent storage of data. They basically allow you to pull memory in uh, from the hard drive, which is the permanent storage of data, and uh, work on them. And these little chips here that are on the RAM are uh, basically uh, temporary storage uh, of data for the computer. Now once the power is cut off to a stick of RAM, each one of these little memory devices uh, lose whatever it is that they were currently storing. It's uh, sort of like a capacitor if you've ever worked on one. You, you plug in a capacitor and it holds a charge. If you remove the power to the capacitor, it'll hold a charge for a little while, but it will eventually lose its charge. That's basically how these work. Uh, the way that computers store data more permanently is through a hard drive. I'm going to pull up this picture of a hard drive right here. Uh, hard drives have inside of them uh, spinning platters. Now these, a hard drive stores data magnetically, uh, basically like a reel of tape, except it's flat. Uh, this little platter spins inside of the hard drive, and while it's spinning, this actuator arm moves along the surface of the hard drive to the point where it wants to load data. Right here on the tip is a little copper wire that uh, actually touches the platter, and it will read data from that magnetic uh, strip that's on top of the, each of these platters and that's how the computer uh, loads in data. Now when the computer wants to save data it basically does it the other way around. It sends information to the copper wire which will then charge the platter while it's turning and magnetically uh, store data. You can think of this almost like an advanced phonograph basically except it uses, uh, instead of carving in ridges to the platter it's uh, basically storing data magnetically. And that's why you can delete files and uh, create new files uh, over and over and over and over because it just reuses the space on this platter instead of ha having to actually dig into it. So it's through these two devices that your computer uh, uses and stores its, uh, its data. My name is Dave Andrews and I've just told you how a computer stores data.